How's it going everyone? My name is Spider here, bringing another episode in the Pokemon TCG series. So today I'm going to be looking at another standard deck and doing a, a impressions of it. Now, I have had I think one or two games with it when I first got it, um, but this really is a bit more of first impressions because I haven't had that much of a, uh, that much experience with the deck. So today I'm going to be looking at a standard deck and that is the Lucario and More Metal GX deck. Uh, this was another gift from Jamie Viggy, so I'm quite keen to look at it and actually get some more games with it and get really in-depth with it. So, taking a look at this deck, um, Pokemon, we've got Magnemite, 60 HP, Searching Magnet. Search your deck for up to three energy cards, reveal them, put them into your hand, and shuffle your deck. It's a great way to really get your energy acceleration going very quickly. Uh, next one, Magneton, 90 HP, Ram Zap Cannon, Nothing really special. This up cannon 80 HP, 80 damage is not bad, but you can't use it two turns in a row, which is a bit awkward. And then you've got Magnezone, 150 HP, and Magnetic Circuit. As often as you like during your turn, you may attach a Metal Energy card from your hand to one of your Pokemon. That's huge. Being able to bring out those energies is massive, and this really helps you accelerate this deck. Anytime you've got a card that allows you to um, get ahead with energies, it gives you a huge advantage. And then this sub cannon, 130 damage, and you can't use it during the next turn. So, it's not as good as an attacking Pokemon, but as a supporting poke Pokemon with Magnetic Circuit, it is huge. Going on to Pidgey with Collect, and then Pidgeotto, 6 HP, Airmail. Again, awesome, awesome, awesome draw card. Just having this in a deck as a way to draw, absolutely fantastic. Doesn't, this deck doesn't actually even run the evolution. And here's our mascot. Lucario and Metal GX, 260 HP, so it's got a nice amount of HP. Steel Fist, 50 damage for 2 energies, and search your deck for Metal Energy card and attach it to this Pokemon, then shuffle your deck. This is great as a way to accelerate this, and it means that as long as you have an energy in your hand, you can then essentially hit with heavy impact on the second turn, which is really, really great. Well, on the next preceding turn. On the following turn, so not preceding. On the following turn, you can then attack with it. And then full metal wall GX is one energy plus. So for the rest of this game, your Pokemon take 30 less damage from your opponent's attacks. If this Pokemon has at least one extra energy attached to it, in addition to the uh, attack cost, discard all energies from your opponent's active Pokemon. So that is pretty cool. So uh, if you're going first and this is your first active Pokemon for whatever reason, you can then drop full metal wall to just prevent the damage for the rest of the game. If your opponent has started charging up, and you haven't actually gone to this attack yet, having that extra energy can actually shut down your opponent quite nicely as you're removing all their energy from them. So, it is quite versatile in that sense, and it's a very interesting attack, which I like quite a lot. And then Meltan, 70 HP, Steel Melt. If your opponent's active Pokemon is Metal type Pokemon, this attack does 40 more damage. Eh, it's decent, but you're probably going to never be using Meltan. And then Melmetal, 150 HP, Metal Eater. Once during your turn, you may discard a metal, uh, a metal Pokemon from your hand. If you do, heal 100 damage from this Pokemon. It's fairly useful. Um, it's a way to keep it going. Um, I don't know. I don't know how often you'll be using it, but it certainly it is there to be used. And then heavy impact, uh, four energies for 130 damage, which is decent. Then that is the end of our Pokemon. So overall, your best attacker really is Lucario and Melmetal, followed up by Melmetal. So, we've got Cherish Ball to bring out Lucario and Melmetal. Uh, Poke Gear, again, you're looking for your supporters, always good to search for that. Reset Stamps, awesome, awesome card, as a way to just sort out your opponent's hand, especially if they've got an advantage on you. Rare Candies, an easier way to get into Magnezone. Switches, you always need to switch. Pokemon Communication to bring out your cards. Great Potion, you heal 50 damage from your active Pokemon GX. Great way to keep it going. Mount Coronet, once during each player's turn, that player might put two energy cards from the discard pile into their hand. Again, a great way this combos off um, Magnezone, putting more energies in your hand, which enables you to attach more energies on your turn. Again, energy acceleration, it wins games. Next up, Pokemon Fan Club to bring out those all-important basic Pokemon. Cynthia's for a hand reset. Lily, eh. It's, it's a pretty average card because, again, the fact that you can't play supporters in the first turn anymore makes it a bit of an awkward card. Jasmine, absolutely fantastic if you get this in your opening hand. Search your deck for Metal Pokemon, reveal it, and put it into your hand. 
If you go second and it's your first turn, search for five metal Pokemon instead of one, then shuffle your deck. That is huge. And the nice thing with this card is it doesn't have to be a basic type Pokemon. So you can bring out Magnezone and then just rare candy it, which is awesome. So this Jasmine is absolutely fantastic. Next up, we've got Erica's Hospitality. Again, a great card, especially if your opponent's playing a very full bench. You get to draw a one additional card for each of your opponent's Pokemon to play. Tate and Lisa, either a hand reshuffle or a switch. It's a good supporter card for that versatility. The deck runs Metal Frying Pan, which reduces damage by Fetty on your Metal type Pokemon. Now, this in combination with your GX attack, you're then reducing damage by 60, which is awesome. Uh, and then here come our energies. So overall, this is a pretty cool deck. The deck does run 14 energies. Uh, I have changed the coin and the card sleeves. So this is a lot of fun. Uh, it's a very interesting deck. Um, and I'm quite keen to tinker with it and see what I can build, build from it. Um, so let's jump into the game and see how it runs. Now we're actually running up against another metal type deck. Um, grass metal, I wonder what opponent's actually running. Again, this is like my biggest struggle with standard, is just learning what my opponent's running. Would like to go first? I actually don't want to go first in case I can draw into Jasmine. Um, unfortunately, I don't draw into Jasmine. Like, do I want to get Melt? I think I would rather get Lucario and Melmet off. Just to get a full Metal Wall off as soon as possible. Um, like, yes, I can go into Meltan and possibly get some damage off on my opponent. I don't think it's worth it. Uh, it just wouldn't have been worth it. Cartana. If your opponent has exactly six prize cards remaining, this attack does 90 more. Ooh. That is a great starting Pokemon. Oh man, that's gonna suck. Hmm. That's frustrating. I'm glad, I'm glad I can reduce this damage by a little bit, but that's actually really, really frustrating. I'm probably gonna be going for a new hand though. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of this hand. Man, I hope my opponent doesn't have two energies. Oof, this is going to be frustrating. Okay, let's drop this. Um, let's get the energy down onto that. And I don't want to reset stamp because I'm giving my opponent a draw. So let's take the needs and get a fresh hand. Because this hand is not, not really what I want to be playing with. Um... Let's get the metal frying pan down, which is quite good. <sighs> like, I'm tempted to Pokemon Communication this Mel Metal away to get Pidgey going next turn. And I think I'm going to. Um, the draw for me is just so important. And with this deck, you need to be drawing quite nicely. Okay. So at least now I'm taking 60 less damage. So... I don't know. This is still going to hurt. I don't know if I should have waited, rather. Maybe I should... Oh, it's the Scyther deck. I can take this. I can take a few turns of this, but this is still really hurting. Okay. Amo, what do we get? Um... I definitely don't want to switch, so Jasmine makes the most sense. Let's get this energy down. Let's play Jasmine. Uh, in terms of metal type Pokemon... <sighs> Meltan doesn't help me at the moment. Ah, both of Magneton surprise cards as well, which doesn't help me. Honestly, I think that this is going to be the most useful. It's a bit of an awkward hand. Okay, Steel Fist. And let's bring that energy out. I hope I actually draw into some potions to heal up this Pokemon. Um, oof. Man, this Cartana actually hits so hard. It's such a great card. Jeez, like it's such a great card. Okay, let's drop the energy there. Airmail. Um... I don't really want to bring up more basic Pokemon. I need a new hand. So I'm really searching for Cynthia here. There's Cynthia. Fantastic. Okay. Goodbye, trash hand, and let's see what we get. Uh, it'll be great if I had a Magnet Zone down. Okay. So let's heavy impact this. 
I'm worried. I think the Scyther's Raid does 90 damage. Which again is going to get reduced to just 30, which is not bad. But still, I don't really want to be playing that game. Okay. Let's see, I wonder if they have the Sizzle. Oh, they don't. Oh, I didn't see the coin flip. Did they get it off? I don't think so. Um, okay, let's see. What do we get from airmail? Um, I don't really want that. Because it helps my opponent a lot. Oh, my opponent just yielded. Okay. Um, that was a bit of an awkward game, actually. Oh, I forgot I had that challenge. This is a bit of a... That was a bit of an awkward game playing as another meta type deck. Um, that Cartana is awesome. I haven't actually seen it. I've never gone up against it before. Hmm. Okay. I need to be careful of that. I think when making this deck, I actually might want to bring in some of those Cartanas. As a starting Pokemon, it's so, so great. Um, again, I don't want to go first. I really want to get that Jasmine off. And... Oh, this is an ugly hand. I'm glad I can Cynthia this hand away. Oof, this is bad. Let's get that down. Let's say done. Okay. If this Pokemon has any energy attached to it, it has no retreat cost. Oh, that's quite cool, rock hiding. That's a very cool ability. Okay. Uh, I presume this is going to be like a bite deck. Alright, let's see. Um, as for this hand, I'm definitely going to have to Cynthia this hand away. Uh, just dropping energy on Pidgey so I can get collect off and then a fresh hand of Cynthia. This is really not what I want to be seeing. I mean, Pidgey never wants to be in the active slot because it's really there just to evolve and then get the ML off. Okay, my friend, what are you doing? Um, I'm definitely keen to get to edit this deck, I think. As a deck by itself, it definitely works. Man, I did not want to draw energy. So let's send through this hand away. And let's see what we get. Oh man, this is not what I want to see. Collect. Okay, this is not going to be a good game. These are some really, really bad hands, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, as a standalone deck, this deck does work quite nicely. Uh, I must say, it's it's been decent. The little I've played with it, I've had a lot of fun with it, and it does work very well. This game, apparently, the deck is just saying no, <laughs> and has no interest. Um, generally, it works quite well. So I don't actually know if I'm going to be able to do, do much this game. The issue is these draws have just been so bad. Like, ideally, now, I mean, even drawing into a Magnemite would be good. Because then, but I can't, because I need Pokemon Communication to go off. And I can't Lily, because I've got so many cards in my hand. Um, okay, let's... Pokemon Communication. Goodbye, Magneton. And now, I don't know if I want to bring out Pidgeotto for draw, if I want to bring out Lucario and Mometal. I think I'll bring out Lucario and Mometal, because what I can do now is drop this, drop the frying pan, put the energy on it, and then Lily a new hand. To at least get a draw going. Okay, this is getting a bit better. Let's go for a collect, and let's see what we get. Okay, switch. That's actually pretty decent, because I can bring this card in, which is good. Um, I wonder what uh, Garchomp they're going to bring out. Okay, it's Lucario with Peacock Aura. Oh, is this an edited um, theme deck? If you have Garchomp play Miss Because this is from one of the theme decks. The... Uh, not Muck Strike. Yeah, it is Muck No. Is it Muck Strike that, that runs this? I've seen this Lucario before. I can't remember if it's Muck Strike or not, but I think it is Muck Strike. And Lucario GX. Oh, this card. I played against this before. This Pokemon evolved from Rialo during this turn. This attack does 90 more damage. I'm not quite sure why they went into this. And this attack does 30 damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. Okay. Um, let's get Mount Coronet down. 
I am going to be retreating this Pidgey. Uh, let's get that down there. Um, do I want a Poke Gear? Because I've got a Cynthia. I think, let me just Cynthia this hand away. And I was actually looking for Erica's Hospitality, so I'm quite glad that came down. Although the rest of this hand is not great. Um, Mount Coronet, I don't really want to do because I've played my energy for the turn already. So I'd rather keep... Actually, no, I'd rather have those energies in my hand. So let's bring that back. Um, I don't want to go for Full Metal Wall because I've got the potential to um, get the damage reduction to get the energy removal later. I'm not sure why they evolved this. I'm really not sure. Uh, so let's just go for Steel Fist. So I don't think they can deal 260 damage to me. I want to think that they can't. I want to put the shinies down. Deserves a shiny energy. Okay, so I'm going to knock out next turn. I presume that's going to be the guard chant that does more damage if they've got less prize cards. Um, yeah, I presume that's what it's going to be. That's what makes the most sense. Um, I'll bring out the Jirachi to stall a bit. Okay. Fair point. I really want to hold off on this full metal wall until I can get, discard some energies with it. Okay, so this is... Uh, this takes the stage damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. So I, I really want to knock out this Lucario in one shot, and I don't think I can... That's actually a huge problem. Oh no, it's the quick dive one? Okay. So this deck essentially wants to be playing a Cynthia and then 200 damage with this Garchomp from Real Blades. Alright. Um, interesting. And then pre you essentially putting Cynthia's into your hand. Alright, I see you. I see what you're doing. There is a Pidgeotto. That is huge. That is exactly what I want to see. Um, this energy can now go down there. I want to play this just so I get more draws out of Erica's Hospitality. So let's drop Erica. Let's see what we get. Uh, not terrible, but not great either. Let's see. Airmail. Reset Stamp. Reset Stamp's going to help me more, I think, because I don't know how long this Lucario and what metal is going to be standing in there. Um, again, the Ray Candy is not helping to draw Magnezone. And not much else to do other than just hit my opponent in the face. So, heavy impact. Let's go. Alright, I'm a little bit concerned about this next turn. That's not what I want to see. Because I presume they put a Cynthia in their hand, which means I'm taking 200 damage. Which is not fun. And if the attack attacking player has more prize cards remaining than their opponent, those attacks do 40 more damage. So I'm going to be taking a lot of damage. This is 240 damage. Ooh, 206 damage. Oh, this is going to be a KO. Oh, no, it's okay. Sorry, Black Belt. That is almost a KO. Okay, um, that was not fun. That was not fun at all. Um, so let's drop that evolution going. <sighs> let's see what I can get, because this is a huge problem. That is not what I want to see. This game just got really difficult. Um, I want to get that Meltan going. The problem is, like, I'm not getting good draws. I mean, this hand is... Half this hand is dead. Um, I need to get Full Metal Wall off this turn. Yeah, I'm going to have to get it off this turn. As much as I want to get that KO, and maybe I should have gotten that KO, I need to reduce this damage as much as possible. The issue is they can just retreat out. Mm. This is tough. I was really hoping they didn't have another double, double energy. Man, that's frustrating. If you have more prize cards than your opponent, the attacks of this Pokemon, this card is attached to cost one and less. Oh, man. 
Okay, um... I'm just gonna send this Meltan out. Uh, I'm actually gonna send this Pidgey out so I can get a draw going. Cause I need to draw as much as possible right now. Uh, Pokemon Fan Club I can actually really use. So let's airmail this and see what we get. There's the Magnezone. Okay. Now we're back in action. So, Magnezone down there. Let's Pokemon Fan Club this. To bring out... Our next Pokemon. Let's drop that down. Let's reset stamp my opponent. What's really frustrating is I wish I sent out this Meltan. Because I'm one energy short for Lucar and Metal's heavy impact. Which is super frustrating. So, Mag Circuit. Let's go there. Let's go there. Let's go there. And let's go there. Nothing else to do, so let's just pass. Okay. Um, that reset for the hand was pretty decent. If you have more prize cards, oh yeah, so Karate Belt does nothing anymore. Um, I'm actually hoping they knock out this Pidgey because then my Lucario and Momento can come in and actually do something. Otherwise, I'm going to be sitting, basically just sitting pretty until I can draw another energy to retreat this Pidgey out. And this Lucario and Momento can just not go down. Because this goes down, I'm, it's game. I wasn't expecting that Deancey. That Deancey might have hit like a truck. I possibly should have knocked out that Garchomp instead. I think letting it uh, live was a problem. I think letting it live was a big problem. Yeah, that I think that going for that GX move there was a mistake. I think that was a big mistake. Because the problem is now they can charge it up. And then I've got, got to go through two of them again, which is a huge, huge problem. Yeah, that was a mistake. I think that was a bad play on my side. I should have gone for the KO. Yeah, I think I, I definitely got greedy there. And I went for the GX move instead, which was a very silly play. Okay. So, let's see if we can do this. That Royal Blades in the next turn is going to definitely hurt. Um, I want to Cherish Ball. I know there's none left, but I basically want to get one card left, less in my hand. And I want to play... There's no other Pokemon I need. So I'm just going to play another Meltan. So I can get more value out of Lily. Um, not really what I was going for. But I can use Jasmine next turn to evolve this Meltan. Which is good. If need be. Switch. I definitely want to see a Switch. Because I'm going to be needing that Switch on later turn. Okay. Nothing else to do here. Other than just go for this heavy impact and hopefully we can survive this. I've got a lot of prize costs to still go through, which is my issue. Okay, here I'm going to be taking a lot of damage. I was really hoping to draw into a metal frying pan to reduce the damage by a little bit. Because I'm going to be taking 170 damage, which is not exactly a fun. Uh, actually more. I'm going to be taking 190 damage. So I really need to draw into some potions. I desperately need to draw into some potions. Do they have another Cynthia? They've played three already. There's one left in their deck. I'm really hoping they don't have a Cynthia. I've got no potions in my discard pile. And I've got one frying pan, which means I can definitely get a frying pan out and I can get two potions out still. Because I'm about to take more damage than I would like. Sorry, plus another 10 damage from this martial arts dojo. So if I got a Cynthia, I'm going to be taking 200, 220, 230. So 200 damage. So I'll still be kicking, but I'll definitely be hurt. I think I can survive this. Oh, that's not great. That's not great. Okay, um, I hope they don't have another one of those. I really hope they don't have another boss's orders, otherwise I'm going to be in trouble. 
So let's use this and see what we get first. There's the potion. I do want to see that potion. Okay, and then let's Jasmine. So we can bring out Melmetal. Get that down. No reason to use Pokegear this turn, doesn't help me. So let's go for Heavy Impact. Okay. Now here come the problems. I'm, if they're running one boss's orders, they're running more. Which is what scares me. Um, they're probably going to dig for them, because they've only got one prize card left. So what makes the most sense is them essentially getting rid, getting rid of this Meltan. Well, actually the easiest thing to probably knock out is Pidgeotto. They went for Cynthia. Yeah. So the problem is they can boss his order and then missile jab my Pidgeotto. Or my Meltan. That's frustrating. That is very frustrating. <sighs> now I'm wishing I could discard these Pokemon from my bench. Ah, oh, man. The draw bosses orders this game. There's no way they're just running one of them. They must be running more. Oh, they are running the Overslice version of Garchomp as well. I think they're just thinning their hand. They're thinning, thinning it to try and get the card out. Um, nothing else to really do. Is there anything here that's going to help me? I might need this for a switch, but I don't know if it's going to make a difference. Uh, nothing else to do, so let's just keep hitting. I think I've lost this though. As long as I have a boss's orders, I've lost this. All my energy is in my discard pile. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. No, that's still in my deck. Okay. Yeah, this is a bad. This is the problem. Because boss's orders pull out Pidgeotto, switch in Lucario, missile jab. Game. Ah, oh, man. I definitely think that mistake of going for the GX move cost me. They still don't have boss's orders? Oh, please let them only run two and the lot their last prize card is the boss's orders. If that's what's happened, I'm going to be so happy. But I think they're just digging for it. They must just be digging for it. That or they're just trolling me. Um, which is never fun. So email. Oh, I guess I can Pokemon Communication. Pokemon Communication, let's put this Pidgey away. And... There's actually nothing left in my deck that I want. Let's just pass it then. Okay. Um, again, there's not much I can really do other than just keep hitting. Let's see. Do they have boss's orders? Oh, there's the Melmetal. That's what I was, I was actually looking for. Oh, there's the Elder Goss V. Yep, there's boss's orders. Ah, oh, man. That's game. Please misplay. Ah, damn. I was hoping they were going to Meltan. I was really hoping they would misplay there. Ah, oh, that's frustrating. That is very frustrating. Yeah, I definitely had a bad play there when I went for the GX attack. Okay, let's jump into one more. I'm really enjoying this deck. It's actually a nice mental deck. Um, and it's got some... Like, you could potentially make this deck really good. Running the Galarian Meowth. Um, ah, uh, Galarian Perserker, sorry. To make your metal type Pokemon that much better. 
Um, hello, my friend. Let's see. I want the coin flip again. I want to try and go second. I really want to get that jasmine off in turn one. Uh, hey, I got it. Very, very cool. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, the rest of my hand really sucks. Um, but I mean, I can get whatever Pokemon I need to get going after that, so that's okay. Um, <laughs> this really is not a great hand. Uh, but I can get it going, which is not terrible. Uh, I'm definitely going to need a way to draw, though, because... <sighs> yes, I do want a new card. There is Cynthia. Okay, that's actually, that's huge. That is a huge change of pace. Poison Jab, your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned. Oh, lovely. We're playing against Toxtricity V. I actually really like Toxtricity as a Pokemon. I think it's a really funny Pokemon. All right, let's see what we get. Um... Oh, okay. I'm not sure what that was about, but anyway. Um, man, I finally got Jasmine in my opening hat. Now I couldn't get a chance to use it. <sighs> okay. One more. Let's see if we can get it. It's always a case of one more. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can actually get it off this time. Okay. Um, hopefully my opponent doesn't just yield. I've got four days left to fin finish this ladder and it's just not going to happen. I've just not been excited about this ladder. Um, I'm really hoping the next set of cards and boosters are a bit more exciting. Okay, let's see. Blaze 818. Very cool card. I like that uh, card, coin. I like that coin quite a bit. I quite like Umbreon. Okay. Um, yeah, as to how I change this deck, I mean... Zacian V just makes sense. Intrepid Sword is such an amazing ability in a mono mono metal deck. Uh, this is ugly. This is really, really ugly. Uh, I'd rather lose a Pidgey. <sighs> this is not a good opening hand. It looks like my opponent has the same problem though, at least, which is good. Um, hopefully I can draw Jasmine or something to get this hand going. I, I need to draw a supporter. I need to top deck the supporter. Be it Cynthia, be it hopefully Jasmine. Jasmine would be a great start. Um, but I need something because this hand is going to play itself out very quickly. Because Mount Coronet does nothing this early in the game. Uh... Oh man, let it go. Nightcap. You can use attack only if your opponent has exactly two prize cards remaining. Choose one of your opponent's Pokemon attacks and use it as this attack. And Void Tentacles. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused and poisoned. That is never fun. So let's get those down. Let's get this go down. And let's go for a collect. What do we get? Technically, honestly, I'm okay with that. It's a fresh hand. It's, yeah, it is what it is. Unfortunately, this has been a terribly slow opening hand. Um, let's see. The fact that my opponent started with Mew, I presume they had a rather useless opening hand. I'm a bit surprised they didn't start with that unless they top decked it. Honestly, Marnie, I'm okay with that. Uh, I would have liked to have gotten my other cards down, but hey. Well, I'm, I'm okay with this. Oh, it's going to be one of these decks. Building Spite. Once during a turn, you may put damage count on this Pokemon. And this attack does 10, uh, 30 damage for every... 30 bonus damage for each damage counter. So that's definitely going to hurt. Shrine of Punishment. Between turns, put one counter on each of your GX and EX Pokemon. Okay, that Spirit Tomb scares me quite a bit. Um, yeah, the Spirit Tomb scares me a lot. I actually drew the Sibli... Um, with the power load recently. And um, that works quite nicely with the Spirit Tomb. I'm gonna see if I can do something with it. I doubt it. Because the next deck I really want... I really, really want to get my Martial Arts Dojo deck going. With, um... Stone Jorna. So I'm just actually really committed to building that deck. Because it's something I've been sitting on for a while. And haven't quite gotten around to building it yet. I need to actually play events again. I haven't played an event in a long time. Because I need those unlock boosters. Alright. So I can get Pidgeotto down next turn. 
Well, I'm sitting in the position where I might even just attach that energy to Pidgeotto, just so I get some damage off. The problem is, that's 70 damage in the next turn of the Spirit Tomb, which knocks out Pidgeotto, which I can't let happen. So let's get that going there. Let's airmail this to see what we get. Cynthia, I cannot be happy to see that card right now. So there's Cynthia, let's retreat. Uh, I'd rather lose a Meltan. Let's get an energy down a Meltan, so at least I can do something. That's actually going to deal bonus damage, which is quite nice. Um, okay, not bad. Pokemon Fan Club can go down next turn, which is good. Uh, nothing else to really do right now, other than Steel Melt. Which actually does bonus damage, funny enough. Um... Ooh, they stayed asleep. This could actually be good for me. I might be able to actually get a knockout with this Meltan, which is quite funny. It looks like they're not getting the best draws on their side. Erica's hospitality in this matchup would be amazing. Alright, let's see what they draw from this. Because this next turn, I really want to get my Meltan going. Prof's research. That is a very, very good card to bring out with Jirachi. How valuable is that one card in their hand? So I know they have Prof. Oh, they had double Prof, I think. Oh, they had a Marnie. Okay. Um. Oh, man, there's a skateboard. That is rather frustrating. Because I would have been on knockout this Jirachi. Okay, well, it means I'm going to have to buy myself another turn, which is what I need. Because uh, I desperately need to be able to get my Meltans online. And the thing is, this my opponent's deck doesn't run with a lot of energies. So, getting the GX ability off is not going to make a difference. So, let's get this Meltan out. Pokemon Fan Club. Let's say hello to Meltan. And let's say... Oh, my other one's a prize card. Um... This really is just getting a card out of my hand. Uh, out of my deck, so let's just do that. I'm not going to play it. Okay, so let's get that down. Let's switch into there. Let's airmail, see what we get. I'd rather take the energy at the moment because the fan club doesn't do me anything because there's nothing I want to bring out. Let's get that down there. And let's go for Full Metal War. Because I know the energy is not really going to help me. <laughs> the removal of energy late in the game is not really going to help me. Um, so I'd rather get it, off, get it off now before my opponent starts dealing damage to me. So at least I can mitigate some of the damage. Because I'm going to be taking a lot of damage. The issue is those building spites is a really, really big problem. Because doing 3, 6, 9, dealing 100 damage already, which is really, really scary. Feel free to money me, I've got a rubbish hand. Like, honestly, the most valuable thing in my hand at the moment is those energies. So I would be very happy with it. The issue is I desperately need to get my frying pans out. To try and drop some of this damage. No frying pan, but it is a Magnezone, which could be useful. Uh, Hasselbelt, if this poke has 30 HP or less, does 60 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. Ouch. That hurts. Um, let's get that down. I don't really want to play this just yet, in case my opponent's running a really frustrating card. So let's go airmail. Um, I need this to bring out Magneton. But I need Lilies to try and draw, hopefully, the energy. Honestly, I'm going to go for Lily. Let's get this down. Let's get this down. I need those frying pans. I didn't get one. That's frustrating. It's very, very frustrating because I needed, I desperately needed a frying pan. Um, I don't think I have any. Oh, I may as well mount Coronet just in case they get rid of it. Because this deck doesn't run Metal Patch. And let's go for Steel Fist. Not ideal. Not ideal, but not bad. So I'm running one Magneton. Um... There's two energy still in there that can help me out. And there's two frying pans. I need to get those frying pans out. I need to get those potions out. There's, other magnet uh, there's the other Lucara and Metal, which is a start fr frustration because now my bench is full. But it is what it is. Um, 
Yeah, that's very frustrating. Because the issue is I don't want to be losing this more metal so quickly. Oh, the Lucario and more metal. I'm considering retreating it. Like, ideally, right now, if I can draw... But I don't want to give my opponent time, that's the problem. So I was thinking, like, if I can draw um, Rare Candy, I can get the Magnezone down. I can then attach... All oh, they're going to mine this turn, though. So I was going to say, I can ma get the Magnezone down, I can then... Retreat out the Lucara and Mold Metal. I can then use Moncorino to bring those energies back. Charge up the Mold Metal as much as I can. And then... Go from there. I'm hoping they don't have another Hustle Belt. Because a Hustle Belt will knock out the Lucario, which is a problem. Which is what I'm really worried about. Yeah, that's what I was worried about as well. Because I'm taking 10 damage every turn now. That's why I didn't want to play Mount Coronet, but I needed to get more draws going. Okay. Um, they're definitely going to retreat this out, so I'm not going to get a knockout this turn with Meltan. So, what is my best option going to do? Gonna be sorry. My best option is gonna be playing Cynthia on this next turn. I need to play Cynthia to try and bring out those frying pans and to try and bring out those potions. It's gonna be my best bet. Cause the thing is I kinda need this Momento to this Lucar and Momento to actually drop or one of my other cards to drop so I can actually bring out my other one. Yeah, there's my ominous posture. The ominous posture jinx as well. Which is a concern. This is such a nice deck to play mill against because the, this deck tends to mill itself up pretty quickly. It's a bit surprised they didn't go for the Dedene draw, but anyway. Damn, there's the Hustle Belt. Okay, well, that's going to be Lucar and Momento going down. Uh, which is a bit, un bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. Okay. Um, what can I do about this? I think Meltan's just going to come in and just get to 10 damage off. To try and slow my opponent down as much as possible. Because things are doing so much damage either way. Um, man, this is frustrating. That hustle belt was an issue there. Huge, huge issue there. Okay, let's bring that out. That is not what I wanted to see. Let's get that down there. Let's get the energy down there. Um... Honestly, I just want Cherish Board, so it's out of, out of the game, because I don't need it. And then it's time to Cynthia. Okay, let's see what we get. Okay, that can go there, so next turn I can actually get Magnezone online, which is good. Airmail, Jasmine. That's decent. Um... Not much else to do. Other than the 10 damage. This is a tough game. This is a very, very tough game. Oh, I should have evolved my Pidgey. Why didn't I evolve my Pidgey? Damn, that was stupid of me. Okay. Magnezone will be able to get the KO on this turn. Which is definitely good. The issue is my opponent will be able to use this next turn. Which is a bit scary. 
Okay, so what we need to do is first of all bring Pidgeotto down. Then what I want to do is I think let's play Jasmine. Let's bring out that Magnezone. Let's charge up this Lucario. Um, the only thing is... I'm very tempted to... Use Steel Fist this turn to bring out an energy. So I'm going to play an energy there. I'm going to use this to charge up... One onto Lucario and more metal. And the other one... I'm going to put on the Meltan. I'm going to hopefully bring out its evolution. Uh, I want that. Probably should have actually gone for the trainer, but anyway. And let's bring out that energy again. Because now I can magnetic circle up that Meltan. And then let's go for Steel Fist. Okay, there's one more metal, and there's two of those potions there. I still need these frying pans. Or oh, Erica's Hospitality right now would be amazing as well. Okay, what do we get? Not really what I wanted. But it is what it is. My opponent's got 11 cards left. So they're not going to be doing that much draw. There's the third Spirit Tomb. I presume they should be running four Spirit Tombs. How many Hustle Belts are down? There's two Hustle Belts down. I presume they're running at least three. They are running bosses orders, which is always an issue for me. Because my bench tends to be quite supportive with the two Pidgeottos. And you get this evolution Meltan going very soon as well. Okay. They're risk profing. I don't think they're risk profing at this stage of the game. I'm wondering... I thought they would actually retreat with a psychic energy on the logo, but I guess not. Okay, there's the mill metal. That's actually what I really wanted to see. What can we draw from this? Uh, there is the Erica. Thank you so much to finally come out. Let's drop that there. Let's play Erica and let's actually get some draws going. Okay, there's the potion, which I'm actually going to play right now. Just in case, because I'm very scared that they... Like Marnie or something. Uh, Jasmine, I don't need. Pokey, I guess I could kind of use. Uh, Pokemon Fan Club, again, is not going to do anything. So I've basically got everything out already. Um, and I don't want to be drawing energies really anymore. So I'm considering Steel Fisting. Because that way at least I've got extra energies in case I need to retreat at a later stage. So let's bring that down. So the one nice thing about um, the Pokemon Fan Club is it's actually a way to basically give more metal food, which will be good. I still haven't drawn a metal frying pan, which is really, really frustrating because I kind of need it. <laughs> I kind of badly need it and it's just not coming out. Okay, do they have Hustle Belt? I really hope they don't. I really hope they don't have Hustle Belt. Oh, they're going to move those, those damage counters from Didene. Once during your turn before you may move you, one damage counter from one of your Pokemon. Oof. There's that spot. Oh, that hurts. That hurts a lot. That really hurts a lot. Okay. Where is this card? Let's airmail this. That is huge, that potion. That potion helps so much. Um, frying pan? Where is this frying pan? Okay, at least I'll be taking 10 less damage, so let's get rid of that. Um, Pokemon Fan Club this turn to bring out some basic Pokemon in case I need to eat anything. Frying pans are still in my deck somehow. Uh, nothing else to really do here. You may heal hundred from this Pokemon. I wish it was from another Pokemon. That'd be awesome. Okay, not much else to do here, so let's just go for the Steel Fist. 
Oh wait, before I do that, I want to do Mount Coronet. Let's bring those two back. I want to play an energy there, just in case I need to retreat at that later stage. Um, and let's go for Steel Fist. Because I might need to retreat this. Okay. The day will come when I draw when I draw a metal frying pan. Don't know when that day is going to be, but the day will come. <laughs> All right. Um, there's their last spirit tomb. And where are the hustle belts? I think they've used three hustle belts so far. Oh man. Yeah, they've used three hustle belts. I wonder if they're running another one. I wonder if they're running four. The thing is, they've only got two card. They've got one card left in their deck. So, like, can they realistically win this? Because I don't think they're running stuff like Cynthia. Ooh. Okay. That's a problem. That concerns me. And let's go for the steel first. Okay, this is gonna be the last turn of the game. I don't think my opponent can take this. Beast game. If your opponent's Pokemon is knocked out by damage from the stack, take one more prize card. No, that won't knock me out. If your opponent's Pokemon is knocked out by damage from the stack, take one more prize card. Yeah, that just won't knock me out because I've got enough HP. And then heavy impact game. Yeah, so like I was still suspecting for them to have like some comeback out of that. But victory, there we go. So, like, just with the standard deck, you can, out of the box, get some pretty decent wins in the standard ladder. Sorry, it went super quiet there. I was trying to work out, like, if I could actually lose that game. So, uh, again, thanks so much for Jamie Viggy for this awesome deck. I am very keen to tinker with it, and I'm liking it as it is. It's a really, really cool deck. So, thanks so much for watching, everyone. I hope you did enjoy the video. Please do consider liking and subscribing. And remember, this month is not over yet, so you can still get a chance to win those six boosters by um, writing a comment on my 500 subs video. Thanks again, everyone. Cheers. Enjoy.